Hello everybody, welcome to another week of Pilates Plus Physio. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, you need your mat, your brick and your elastic band again this morning. So starting off this week up in standing, you want your feet pointing to the front. Knees just relaxed, think of lengthening through the hips a bit. Open out through the shoulders, gently tuck in the chin. Imagine that nice bright balloon coming from the back of your head or halo just above the back of your head. You're just reaching up into that a little bit. Maybe start off rolling the shoulders backwards. So right up all the way around, back and down. Just nice circles. Great, keep the shoulders relaxed, just alternate heel lifts. So sort of pedaling with the feet, one heel up and then the other one. Knees going forwards. Nice and smooth. Great, okay. Um, then maybe arms out to the sides and alternate knee lifts up in front. So remember you're aiming to keep your body pretty well still. Just folding a knee up. Think of that string attached to your knee. It's just bringing your knee up in front. Not too quick. You want a little bit of balancing going on. Really feel your foot on the ground. Bring the arms down if you want to, but the aim is the arms stay, stay level or stay still. See if you're better on one leg than the other, and then obviously practice more on the one that's not so good. Great, okay, both feet down, grab your brick a moment. So, feet about hip width apart, hold the brick like it's a little tray in front of you. Hips and knees very slightly bent. So you're just releasing the knees and the hips. So don't just let the knees go forward. Think of sitting down a little bit. Hold the tray in front. So start off, just move your head all the way around to the right, all the way around to the left. And again, right the way around one way, right the way around the other way. And again. Okay, this time you're taking your top half around. Keep your belly button pointing forwards. So you're just taking the shoulders and your head. But your knees are staying to the front, hip bones staying to the front, tummy button staying to the front. So you're just isolating that twisting. Okay, and then next time, start to let your whole body turn. So you're taking that tray right the way around behind you, all the way back around, right the way around the other way. So you want to feel that twisting going all the way from your head right down into your feet. So as you twist left, you've got pressure on the outside of your left foot, inside of your right foot. As you go right, pressure on the outside of the right, inside of the left. See if you're going again, see if you're going more one way than the other. That's good. Okay, come back to the front and then just take a step forward with one leg. Hold your tray in front of you, back heel off the ground. And we're just going to drop down a little bit and come back up. So sore knees, you might only want to go down a couple of inches, otherwise you're going down a little bit further and press into your foot, come back up. And again, so your knee is going over your second toe, the hip is bending, keep your body upright. So often people really let their body tip forward, so think of belly button staying pointing at the wall opposite you, not the floor. Good, swap legs. So weight onto the front foot, heel off on the back leg. A little way down. Or a little bit further. Get that front hip bending. So you can put your fingers, you know, right in your hip there. That's where you want the bending to be happening. And you've got your big buttock muscles working to control you going down. 
helping you come back up. Front of the thigh working pretty hard as well. So really press into that foot. Good, swap again. So one forward, one back. Just dropping down, press into your foot back up. And again, coming down, and back up. One more. And swap again. Heel off. Stand nice and tall. Press into your foot, back up. And again, drop down. Back up. One more, dropping down. And back up. Lovely. Great. Okay. And then come and lie yourself down on the mat a moment. So just lying in a relaxation position, knees bent. Head on the little pillow or something if you're more comfortable like that. Just let your body sort of sink into the mat for a moment. Put your hands on your upper tummy. Just think of breathing underneath your hands. Good, okay, grab your elastic and we're just going to do um, a hamstring stretch. So bend underneath one foot, leg up towards the roof, knee straight, slide the other leg right down flat, toes up towards you. So you've still got that little bit of a hollow in your back. You haven't pulled your legs so far up that your back is flattening down into the mat. Elbows on the floor, nice and wide through your collarbones. And maybe just turn your leg out a little bit. Turn in a little bit, foot back into the middle as you exhale, ease into that stretch a bit further. Good, okay, and then bring that band down behind your thigh. So we're gonna do a hip circle. So other leg flat, elbows on the mat, holding onto the band. Just think of the band as a sort of pair of reins. Imagine you've got that little laser beam or little torch beam shining from your knee up onto the ceiling and you're just going to circle that knee. So don't worry if you're getting a bit of a sort of click at the front. So you're just circling around. And then going around the other way. So if you think of the back of your pelvis, or the back of your back or your bottom, you're aiming to keep the sort of pressure equal on both sides. So as you circle, you don't want to get the whole pelvis rolling over to the side. So you can keep going with the knee, knee bent. I think you get a bit more movement with that. So if you're a bit stiff through your hips, might get more movement. Or if you want to make it a little bit more bit more difficult, straighten the leg and then you're drawing a circle with your whole foot. And then you're circling around the other way. Good, good. Okay that leg down, slide it down flat, swap the band onto the other leg. So we do the stretch first, so the hamstrings are sort of nice and stretched before we start trying to circle. Toes up towards you, press right out through your heel, make sure the knee is going straight, so you don't want to see that little bend in your knee, knee straight. Nice and wide through the collarbones. And maybe turn the foot out a bit. Turn in a little bit. Back into the middle. Breath in as you exhale. Ease into that stretch a little bit further. And then pop the band behind your thigh. 
knee nice and relaxed. See, so lower leg sort of floppy, knee pointing to the roof, and you're just circling that knee. So just use the band to sort of guide that movement a little bit. And then going round the other way. And those who want to, you could do it with the legs straight. So then you're circling the whole leg. Think of sort of drawing a nice big circle on the wall in front of you. Or if you've got very long hamstrings, you could be circling up on the ceiling. And again, you're just using the band to just sort of guide the movement and take a little bit of the weight of your leg. And then maybe going around the other way. Great, okay. Pop the leg down, pop the band to one side, both knees bent. Both arms up towards the ceiling. Uh, we're doing one arm back, same leg down the mat. So right arm back, right leg down the mat. Left arm back, left leg down the mat. Then the diagonal, right arm back, left arm down, just to really open out the front of the hips. Left arm back, right leg down. Pelvis still staying level. Both arms back. One leg down, toes up towards you, push out through the heel, both arms back, the other leg down. So we'll just do all that again. So right and right, pelvis level, left and left, diagonal, right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg, both arms and one leg. both arms and the other leg. Perfect. Feet nice and close in, keep the arms up towards the roof, just coming up into a spine curl, press into your feet, curl your bottom up. One arm out to the side, bring it back up, other arm out the other side, back up, roll your bottom down. And again, press into your feet. So really think about your feet being flat down on the ground. Peel your back up. One arm sideways. Straight line, knees, hips, ribs. Other arm out the other side. Roll down. And again, this time curl your bottom up. Take both arms back over the top of your head if they'll go there. Leave your arms there, roll your bottom down. So still aiming to get that feeling of one bone at a time. It probably won't happen for most people. When you're all the way down, just bring the arms back up towards the ceiling. So again, curl up first, straight line, knees, hips, ribs, feet flat on the ground. Arms back over the top of your head. Leave your arms there, roll your bottom down. Once you're all the way down, Point your fingers back at the ceiling and one more of those curl up arms back roll your bottom down bring the arms all the way down this time maybe bring your knees up to your chest so bring one up other one up cross your ankles hold the knees a little bit gentle knee rocking there leg down, put the ankle of the other leg onto your knee, flop the knee out, we're going to do back of the buttock, sort of hip stretch, hold behind the thigh of the foot on the floor, pull in towards you. And remember you can just move your thigh very slightly one way or the other just to really get that stretch on deep in your buttock. Okay, let that 
release, swap legs, ankle onto your knee, flop the knee out, hold behind the thigh of the foot that's on the floor, pull in towards you. If you can't reach, grab the band, use that or a towel, just to pull that leg up a little bit. Nice stretch. Leg down, put the other one down, turn over, come over onto hands and knees. So, hands on the mat, spread the fingers nice and wide, really press the floor away from you. Knees underneath your hips, a little bit of a hollow in your lower back, chin tucking in. So, just do a little bit of a cat. Arch your back up, drop your head, and then going the other way, head up, tail up, let your back drop down. And again, arching all the way up, and coming all the way down. And again, arching right up, and coming down, back into the middle. So you could tuck your toes underneath, so it gives the toes a nice stretch, press into the hands, so really push your, the floor away from you, tummy in, and just lift the knees an inch, so not too high, hold there, and put them down. If you don't want to lift the knees, you know, just really push the floor away from you with your hands, you're still getting a nice lot of weight going into the arms. If you're lifting the knees, again, tummy in. So you're keeping that bit of a hollow in your back. You're not turning into a little humpback bridge. Hover the knees. Can do it with your feet down flat as well, but I think that's quite difficult. And down. And just one more, push the floor away. Draw your tummy in away from the mat or away from the waistband of your trousers. Knees up, not too high. So almost lifting less is harder. Great, knees down, knees apart, big toes together, bottom back to your heels, stretch the arms right out, head down, good, come back onto hands and knees, do a little bit of threading the needle, so back of one hand on the mat, Slide it underneath the other arm, ear right down to the floor if you can. Keep your feet on the ground. So you're looking straight along the floor. And come back. Back of the other hand on the floor. Right the way through. Look along the floor. And back. Other hand. So keep Keep your weight equal on your knees, keep your feet down on the ground. So you're getting, sort of isolating that twisting movement to your upper back. Nice one for the shoulder as well, because that muscle sort of between your shoulder blade and your spine really has to let go and lengthen. Remember, it's not, not easy to keep your balance in this position. I had a young lad in the clinic yesterday who could not, he kept falling over doing this. So if you're managing to stay on all fours or three, three limbs, you're doing pretty well. Great, okay, bottom back to your heels again. Stretch the arms out. Let your bottom sink right back. Good, and then come down onto your tummy. Hands together underneath your forehead, flatten right down. Clench your bottom hard, little kicks up and down with the legs, like your swimming crawl. So the shoulders are staying soft, little kicks. Chin tucking in. Keep 
breathing. Great, rest your legs down, rock your hips from side to side a moment. Uh, we'll just do front of the thigh, sort of front of the hip stretch, so bend one leg up, grab your foot, ankle, whatever you can reach, pull your heel towards your bottom, push the front of your hip down into the mat. So it should be a firm stretch down the front of your thigh. If it's burny, pins and needlesy, let go. Okay, let that release. Swap legs, pull your heel towards your bottom. Let that release. Uh, turn back over onto your back a moment. So lying on your back, knees bent, put both hands behind your head, elbows back nice and wide. Just do a few little curl ups. So tuck in the chin, curl your head and shoulders up, look down over the top of the knees. And release. And again, tuck in the chin. Curl up, you're thinking of sliding your ribs down your front. And release. And again, tuck the chin in and curl up. And release. And again, little chin nod. Curl up. If you release a bit, come back up. Release a little bit, back up. Release a bit, back up. And then this time right down to the floor. So just watch you're not pulling on your head and your neck. Up a little bit and release. Up a little bit and release. So this is upper tummy. So little pulses at the top. Just get those tummy muscles really switching on. your head down, let the neck release, gently roll from one side to the other. And now, sort of a bit more lower tummy, so a little bit of a hollow in your lower back to start with, arms just on the mat beside you, just fold one leg up, so you're bending at the hip, hip at a right angle, knee at a right angle. Pop that leg down, and you're just floating the other one up. So alternate legs. If you want to make it harder, bring one leg up. Slightly flatten your back into the mat, bring the second leg up. First leg down, second leg down. So one up, other one up, first one down, second one down. And again, first leg up, second leg up, first one down, second one down. If you want to make it even tougher, slightly flatten your back into the mat. One leg up, other leg up. So then you're just touching your foot down to the mat and bring it back up. So imagine you've got some talcum powder on your foot, making a little footprint and coming back up. Make a little footprint and come back up. Little footprint and back up. One more little footprint, back up, cross the ankles, hold the knees, gently rocking knees to your chest. Maybe try just gently rolling from side to side, but like a sort of tortoise stuck on its back. Just gently rolling from one side to the other. 
Go back to knee rocking to your chest. Keep a hold of one knee, pull it right into your chest, slide the other leg right down flat, circle, one foot clockwise, one foot anti-clockwise. So you're pulling one knee into your chest, you've got the other leg right down flat. So one hip is bending as much as it can, the other one is almost going as straight as it can. Foot and ankle circles. Right, so try and remember which way one foot is going at least. Okay, bring up the down leg first, swap your hands over, pull that knee right into your chest, slide the other leg down. Circle your feet and ankles the other way. So the one that was going clockwise now send it anti-clockwise. Big circles. Great, okay. Slide both legs right down flat, link your fingers together, palms to the roof, arms right back over the top of your head if you can. Really think of pressing your hands towards the wall behind you. Toes up, maybe press your heels right out to the wall the other end. Good, then let the legs relax. If you bring the arms down beside you, take a big breath in, really filling your lungs right up, and then just let that breath go. Think of letting the legs really flop. And again, big breath in, really fill up right into the tummy, right into the back of the ribs. And then just let that breath go. And just think of your body sinking down into the mat. And maybe stay there for a few moments if you want to. Um, otherwise, slowly come back up into standing. Thanks very much for joining me and I hope I see you next week. Bye bye.